Hi there, um, I'm a regular reader of Wood Turning Magazine and uh, this month there's uh, an article in here by a, a guy called Walter Varga, I, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, who uh, goes through the process of making a salt cell with a magnetic hinge. So uh, that's inspired me to have a go, so see you in a bit. So this is a, a little piece of spotted beach, it's... Um, about 95 uh, millimetres square and about 60 millimetres across. The grain's running that way so we've got end grain here. Um, so I'll just turn this down with the spindle roughing gouge. We need to go down to about 80 millimetres in diameter. So now I need to create a uh, six millimeter deep tenon, which is uh, needs to be around about forty eight millimeters in diameter. Okay, so this will be the top, so I need to um, clean that face up and shape it. And I'll use the skew chisel just to um, clean up the side, and do, then we can do a bit more shaping. So this is a 3 8 bowl gouge. So the top needs to be about 8mm deep, so I think I'm going to try and create a little bit of a curve here, so the top will sort of like overlap a little bit. Um, so this is a, um, a spindle gouge, so 3 eighths of an inch, I'm not great at spindle work, so let's see how we get on.
I'll just try this Ashley Isles feeding tool here. So now I'm going to use this uh, little detail point tool. Okay, so I've uh, sanded it to 400 and I'm just going to uh, put about three coats of this uh, food safe finish on. It's a chestnut product. Okay, so I think it needs uh, to be left um, probably at least half an hour between coats. So uh, once I've done the three coats, I'll get back to you. So now we need to part off the lid. And the uh, lid needs to be uh, fairly thin. Uh, otherwise, if it's too heavy, it won't spin on the magnet, I don't think. But anyway, let's give it a try. Okay. Okay, so the uh, rare earth magnets I'm going to be using are 10 millimeters in diameter. So I want to create an offset from the center of half that, so a 5 millimeter offset. Then I'm going to place that on the drive center and then I'm going to use the live center to try and find the same point on this side so it's actually sitting at 90 degrees then it will enable me to cut this tenon yet again uh, but it'll be an offset tenon then I can use the offset tenon to carve out the middle which again will be offset and enable me to place the magnet in the opposite position to where the offset centre is if that makes sense so anyway we'll give it a try well I must say that was a right old faff I just couldn't get this offset between uh, centres so I've ended up um, putting it on this screw chuck so hopefully that will uh, sort the problem out okay so hopefully we're aiming to get a tenon here of uh, 35 millimeters if this works it'll be a miracle
Okay, so that's roughly where I want the inside of the uh, salt cellar. I'll probably cut just slightly inside of that line because uh, I've got beads on the outside and I don't want to create some rings. <laughs> um, so I'll be using a combination of a parting tool, a bowl gouge and a square end scraper. Okay, so we got there in the end. Um, quite a bit of tear out though, so I'm going to have to do quite a bit of sanding. So uh, I'll get back to you in a bit. Okay, so I've just put the other magnet in here and I'm just marking where I should make the hole having lined up the grain pattern on the top and the base. So, fingers crossed. Okay, so uh, it's turning out to be a bit of a marathon is this one. Um, I put the cold jaws on and I need to turn this tenon off um, with some light cuts. So these will be mainly pull cuts. Okay, so I've just sanded to 400 and uh, put my logo on the bottom. So I'll just put some of this food safe on. I'll give that a couple of coats, then I'll um, stick the rail earth magnets in with epoxy resin. And then we're finished. Well, that was an interesting little project. Um, so what have I learnt? Uh, I found it quite difficult, or actually impossible, um, making the offset tenon uh, between two centres. I just couldn't get the centres lined up so the piece was perpendicular. Um, but anyway, the, the screw chuck came to my rescue, so that worked out well. Um, one thing I've, I've not used in anger before is this uh, food safe finish. Um, and I'm, I am quite sort of pleasantly surprised with the, the finish. 
um, you sort of get a matte sort of stroke satin finish uh, but it's pretty good um, anyway um, the magnets have set overnight and that is the finished piece so uh, I'm really happy with it um, I hope you like it Top works a treat. <laughs>